we've hit a new low. I think we've hit a new low. Today, I am going to be making my own deodorant. Why? Because... One day Taz was scrolling through Google when she came across an article that said deodorants contain harmful chemicals that can ruin your body. Your girl was shook. She later double checked only to find that it wasn't true. I read this article and it freaked me out. It basically said that there's harmful chemicals in your deodorants. A certain chemical called aluminium was linked to cancer. That's right people, cancer. The big C word. Now, I hear the word cancer and my brain naturally freaks out. So by the end of this article, I was like, well, I don't want to get cancer. I don't think anyone wants to get cancer. So I kind of went a little crazy and bought all the ingredients to make my own deodorant. Um, only to find out it was a myth it's not real people so it's a-okay people your pits are safe you can carry on using a deodorant without that fee in your head um yeah but now i've got all this stuff so i was like i might as well make the deodorant anyway <laughs> so that's what i'm gonna do today okay so i'm just gonna come out and say it i i don't use deodorant <laughs> that often. I do, I, oh, I actually have a lot of deodorant in, bear with me just one sec. I just don't like using deodorant. In my defense, I do shower. And also, when I told my friends and family that I don't use deodorant that often, they couldn't even tell. In their words, they said, I don't smell. So that was nice. I don't know what it is. I just don't like the feeling of deodorant. I don't know why, but like, I do shower. And also, I don't sweat that much, mostly because I don't do physical activity. So, you know, when your body's not moving that much, it doesn't sweat. What are the ingredients? <sighs> These are the ingredients you will need to make your own deodorant. Let's start, shall we? Okay. And we're back. So what we'll need for our natural deodorant is four tablespoons of coconut oil, one tablespoon of baking soda, three tablespoons of bentonite, one to two teaspoons of wax, and 15 drops of essential oil. Can you see me? I don't know why I'm asking you guys, you can't respond, but hopefully you can. Oh guys, I went to my PO box today. I got some letters from you guys and look, this one has a cute rocket on it. Thank you for your letters, it's so cute. So here are my ingredients. Oh, I feel like I'm on a cooking program. Except I'm making something for my pits. First thing we're gonna use is, jeez. Oh, here we have Taz struggling to open a jar. <sighs> now would be a good time to mention always have an adult on hand to help. It's my birthday on the 27th of October, which is the Saturday, and um, I wanted to do a live stream for my birthday because I want to spend my birthday with you guys. Aww. And I'm planning on doing a live stream on you now, but you can also watch on YouTube. I'm going to be in Madrid at the time. It'll be like 9pm in Madrid time. I'll leave all the information down in the description box, or if you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all of that. I'll update you guys on there. But yeah, it'll be really cool. Hopefully you guys can celebrate my birthday with me on the 27th. And uh, it shall be a great fun time. This looks like a lot. So once you put the coconut oil in, you put one teaspoon of wax palettes. And so she continues to add more like an idiot. So it turns out there was a hole in the bowl. So that's why this isn't working properly. So we had to abort mission. Abort mission. Abort mission. <laughs> Now that it's melted, I'm going to put essential oil in it. I've got the lavender one, and I'm going to put 15 drops of that into this. Three tablespoons of bentonite. One, two, three. And also a teaspoon of bacon soda. That much? Bacon soda, bacon soda. Oh yeah, this is going to be on my pits. Why do I have a feeling that this is not going to go well? Oh, that's great. That's great. Okay. It literally looks like I made a poop stick. It is a messy, it's a messy job. It's a real messy job. And it kind of looks like I just spent two hours making a poop stick. But we shall see 
if this wicks or not on my body. I made quinoa and veg last night and it actually turned out pretty good. I'm really chuffed. Feeling like protein in it. I'm eating protein. I think it has protein in it. I don't really know. But put veg in it. Basically, doing all these food challenges is great and everything, but it makes my body hate itself. I need to eat better because my body is just failing. So, as you guys know, I left my glue stick with all the deodorant stuff in it overnight, and the whole point of putting in a glue stick was that I can just scroll it and it'll just come up. Oh! Oh my god, it is coming up! Oh, it didn't come up earlier. Oh, sick! I have a deodorant stick! Okay, so it doesn't really go down. Oh, crap. Okay, so it's a work in progress. Oh, no. Will it go back up now? Oh, I broke it. Yeah, I, I broke it. Why is she like this? Okay, it's time to reveal the armpit. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh, it actually feels quite nice. Ew! Ew! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! I think we've hit a new low. I think we've hit a new low. You know what? It actually doesn't smell that bad. And it actually feels quite nice, too. You know what? I could get used to this. Now that I put the deodorant on, I'm going to test my pits for 24 hours and see how the deodorant copes. First thing on the agenda, exercise. I actually don't know how to do sit-ups. I think I recently figured out how to do it, but we shall see. Also, this is clearly perfect attire to be wearing when exercising. I'm going to try and do sit-ups because I do want to make my... I want to get abs. <laughs> I say that like it's so easy to maintain it. I think today I would like to have some abs, but yeah, I really do want to make my stomach less podgy, so I'm going to do sit-ups. <laughs> oh, I feel a bit dizzy. Next, we're going to do burpees. Okay, I think that's enough exercise for today. Go team, we did so well. Time to check in with my pits. I think they're doing alright. My underarms feel so soft and lovely right now. I'm not just saying that. They actually feel quite nice. It has been six hours since I wore the deodorant and it's pretty holding up. There's like no sweat. I'm not sweating. Granted, I didn't actually do much today. I built IKEA furniture, so that takes some physical labour. So I did do that um, and I am not sweating. See? No sweat. No sweat. I am dry. So, six hours in, we're doing great. So, it's been like nine hours since I put deodorant on. I don't know, I can't count. Update on my pits. Uh, they're doing well. They're doing well. Um, I don't smell, not that I can tell. Oh wow, that all just rhymed. I'm not gonna lie to you, my pits are doing really well today. I went to the supermarket and I bought a ton of stuff, which I will show you now. I am really into my health rhymes. Like, it's no joke. So this is all the stuff I got. As you can tell, I'm trying to be healthy. I got my bed. I've heard a lot of good things about silver noodles, so I want to try that out. And then the rest is just like pesto, salsa, jars of stuff. Oh, we got beans, and beans are good protein. I do this thing like once in a blue moon where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna eat healthy and I'm gonna do so well. And then I go on this massive shopping spree, buy a bunch of stuff, and like the hype dies down within a few days. I don't know if I'm going to keep this up to be honest with you. I already know that I'm going to stop doing this in a week's time. Maybe in a couple of days time. I don't know. But for now, I am actually cooking somewhat healthy food. So I'm going to make fajitas and in my fajitas I'm going to put bean sprouts, mushrooms, some broccoli, um, the fajita mix and some black beans. Not only did I get wraps but I got whole wheat wraps. I'm a changed woman. I'm a changed woman. Ramen who? I'm gonna cook, god dang it. Instead of using meat in my fajitas, I'm gonna use portobello mushrooms. Oh my god, look at that. That looks bomb. Oh my god, that looks so good. Am I gasped by my own cooking? Yeah, well, you know what? Yes, I am. I am. Yo, oh my god. I, got, I look like an egg. I look like an egg. Oh, you know what? I was so gassed over the cooking and then I put the screen on me and we're back to reality now. I could probably charge people 10 quid for this. Ooh, it is a bit hot and spicy. 
but that's how I like it. Uh, no, but it's really good. Honestly, I think this is my favourite thing I've ever made. I am so proud of myself. It didn't even take that long. And it's healthy. It's cheap, it's healthy, it tastes good, and it's fresh, and my body's not going to cry afterwards. Well, actually, saying that, it is spicy, so I will cry. But, like, that's the kind of crying I can deal with. At least I'm not going to feel tired and lethargic, I don't think. I don't know, is this good for you? I think this is good for you, right? This is good for you. <sighs> ah, so spicy, but so lovely. Ah, uh, back to the deodorant. There's really not much to say other than this has truly been a life-changing moment for me. It went great. I think I might actually start wearing deodorant now. I have had no issues with my armpits today. In fact, they have felt silky smooth and there has been no sweat coming out of my armpits. Oh, it does actually feel quite bumpy now. Okay, so I haven't looked at my armpits, so I should probably look at what they look like. By the way, I apologize in advance. I am gonna be showing my armpits right now. If you think they look gross, uh, try living with them. I'm not a massive fan of showing my pits on the internet, but it's gotta be done for a video like this, you know what I mean? It feels all right, it feels smooth to me. So all in all, it's been great. The leftover mixture from yesterday I put in a container and honestly, it literally smells like something you would find in a lush store. Like I reckon they, I reckon they charge you like seven quid for this. And I can, I'm actually gonna use it. You can just go like that, rub it and put it on your pits. Yeah, I think this video was a success. I think this video is actually a success. It actually turned out good. Wow. I was not expecting that. That has been this video. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And remember to click the tab.